All right, today we're talking about TEKS 5.3F, which is represent division with decimals. So for a quick review, let's look at some of our base 10 pieces. For this TEK, typically they let the flat, which looks like this, represents one whole. And then our rod or our long looks like this, and it represents one tenth or a dime. And then our unit, which is a small square or sometimes maybe a small circle, represents one hundredth or a penny. Okay, so based on what we just reviewed, let's talk about what number is this. Remember, a flat is one whole, a rod or a long is a tenth, and then a unit is hundredths or one penny. Well, this is one whole. This is another one whole. And this is considered four dimes. So one, two, three, four. That's zero and four tenths. That means this picture represents two and four tenths. Now, I want to divide or separate them into four groups. Now, to represent groups, we typically use circles to represent our groups. That means my picture must have four circles. So let's draw four circles. One, Two, three, four. Now remember, this teak wants to know, can you identify which model represents division? So I have two and four tenths. In reality, I have 24 rods or 24 longs because inside of each flat is 10 rods, so there's 10 rods here. There's really 10 rods there, plus four more makes 24. So I'm gonna populate each group or each circle with one rod until I reach 24 rods. Once again, I'm going to populate each group or each circle one at a time until I'm completely out of rods and I should have 24 rods. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four. I'm doing one at a time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I have filled each group with rods and I've now completed all 24 rods. Now let's make sure each group has the same exact number inside. Remember, when we're dividing, we're trying to get to a complete even number or the same amount of pieces in each group. Once again, our goal is to have the same amount of pieces in each group. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So this right here is six tenths or six dimes. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is six tenths or six dimes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, we have six tenths or six dimes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tenths or six dimes. So now let's see what we've created. We started with one, two, four tenths. So we started with two and four tenths. We separated or divided into four groups. One, two, three, four. But what's our answer? Our answer 
is how many fit in each group. Well, each group has what number? Six tenths. Okay, so we have our total, our circles, or our groups. And then we have how many is in each group. Let's look at question two. This is the type of question you would see. It wants to know, can you determine what division problem this is based on the information? Let's do it together. Well, what number is this? I have one whole. I have one, two, three rods. That means zero and three tenths. And what are these again? These are units. And what is the value of each unit? One hundredth or one penny. So one, two, three, four, five. That means zero and zero, five, five hundredths. So in reality, this model represents one and 35 hundredths. We're halfway there. Now we're dividing. How many groups do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five groups. Remember, this is our groups. Now, how much is in each group? Let's just count. One, two, that's 20 cents. 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zero and 27 hundredths. Let's count the other ones. One, two, that's 20 cents. 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means each group has 27 hundredths on the inside. What's our answer? Correct. Our answer is zero and 27 hundredths. So just remember, the flat represents one whole. The rod or the long represents one tenth or a dime. And then our unit, which looks like this, typically a square or a circle, represents one hundredth or a penny. Also, remember guys, this number here represents our circles or our groups. I know it's four groups because it showed me four circles here. I know it's five groups here because it had five circles. And then what's inside the circle is going to be my answer. Each circle should have the same amount. And that is going to be our answer or our quotient for these problems.